Hi everyone, it's Tara. And uh, John. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is a follow-up to probably the last video I posted. It's still the same day. It's not the same day. It's still the same day. She just wears the same clothes all the time. <laughs> no. Who are it's... you gonna believe? The face of the channel, your longtime host, Tara. <laughs> Our, our child threw up on him. That did happen, yes. It is several hours later. Yes. Because he woke up, our child, and so, and then we went and got food. But anyways, so today, or right now, uh, we are here. The No Excuses Challenge is back. 2022 edition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy needs a haircut. Yeah. Um... So, yeah, it's six books. Six books. You have all year to read them. All year. Some of us might choose to take the entire year to read them. Um, others of us might just crush them in like two months. If you watched the last video, you know who's who. <laughs> Anything could happen this year. It's true. One of us might not finish this year. It's true. All right, so without further ado, let's uh, talk about the six books okay. that we have challenged each other to read. You want to start? Yeah, I'll start. So these are the books that I am challenging John to read. So I have five here and one that I don't own, but like if I were to um, just pull a hair out of one of the books, um, but if I were to somehow come into possession of it, I wouldn't be upset. So I'll start with that one, which is, um, oh my gosh, I have to make sure I'm saying the right first book, Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Crow. <laughs> is that the first one or is it Wondersmith? It's Nevermore. It's Nevermore? The first book in that series, whichever yeah. one it is. <laughs> um, there's three out and the fourth one I think is coming out this year. Okay. It's a middle grade series, but like, I mean, I like it's similar to Harry Potter. Okay. It's got fantastical elements, and I really like them. So, that's book one. Book one. All right. Book two. I'm just going to go through all of these. We have Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. So, he read Lee Bardugo last year. Yep. Um, I've only actually read Six of Crows. I haven't read the Shadow and Bone trilo trilogy, but I think, I mean, it's another, it's a YA fantasy. I don't think you need to read, I mean, I, I didn't read the Shadow and Bone trilogy and I think you can follow it perfectly fine. And I enjoyed it. It was good. It has like a heist. Yeah. So that's book two. Book three, <laughs> Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahurin. Uh, I know that he can get this on Libby, so, I mean, it is chunky. It's a fantasy. It's, like, a, it involves a witch hunter and a witch, and... They're on, like, the romance, most likely? They do end up in a romance, <laughs> but... Yeah. They're tropes for a reason, because we yeah. like them. So, and then if you like this, I have the next two. No, you do. Then we have... The Escape Room by Megan Golden. You don't have to read this copy because I tabbed it up. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, I mean, I enjoyed it. It's more on the thriller side of things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but it's more thrillery. It's not horror-y, which if you guys watched the previous video, he, you know, doesn't love thrillers. But the thriller I gave him to read last year wasn't his top Books. Top three of, of so, the challenge. Yeah. Basically, this there's a, a like a work retreat that's an escape room and stuff goes down. All right. You like escape rooms? I've done escape rooms before. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Then I have the House of Salt and Sorrow by Erin A. Craig. It is. And I guess it's technically fantasy. It's more like... I think it has one tab in it. It does have one tab in it. Let's see what it says. Oh. Planting seeds of doubt. Mm -hmm. I did say... So, like, there was a time when I was putting, like, sticky notes about, like, a quick, like, thought. And yeah. I do say 
need to reread to pick up on the clues and foreshadowing. Yeah. So I think that's probably, I was like, wait, this is like something. Is yeah. So, <laughs> um, it's like, um, a like retelling of the 12 dancing princesses, like a fairy yeah, tale. Nothing on that. It was okay. interesting. And then we have Recursion by Blake Crouch. This is like, um, it involves time travel, um, more sci-fi than, than fantasy. Um, yeah, it's like sci-fi and, and our <coughs> world and time travel elements. And okay. I think you could enjoy it. It wasn't like one, like, I mean, I enjoyed it enough, but it's not like a, like, all-time favorite, but it was good. All right. So, so that plus... These plus the Trials of Morgan Travel. Yes. Okay. Well, you might want to put this down. First. Oh, yeah. All right, You're well, right. let's start with the obvious easy one that is simple anyway. Archive of the Forgotten. Which uh, I was the, already planning on reading. Yeah, the follow-up to uh, Library of the Unwritten. Book two. Her favorite from last year's challenge, so uh, no brainer to have her yeah. read that. Um, now that uh, certain things have happened, you know, no spoilers, you know, they start from different places and see what the librarian does about it. All right. All right. Next, uh, possibly obvious, <laughs> A Time of Blood, the follow-up to A Time of Dread. And uh, those are the only two that are uh, follow-ups to the series I had you read last year of the okay. six books. So uh, this is that's the second book in the A Blood and Bone uh, trilogy and uh, continues the stories of Dread and Riv and... Yeah. yeah, let's see what you make of that. So, now, okay, now, now we're, we're into new territory. Okay. So first, we have Warbreaker by okay. Brandon Sanderson. Uh, it's a more or less standalone Cosmere novel. It, there are certain characters of that that end up other places eventually, but nothing you need to worry about. What? It's long. What, like 600 pages? 650 I mean, it's a small pages. book. If it, was a big, if it was bigger, it would be less pages. But it's... It's a very uh, good story. Um, interesting. Is this Nothing... one that like they talk in color, or the, their mm. magic is color related, or something? Yes. That's they don't talk literally in color, all. Well, I said talk in color well, yeah, because she's literally bad. like spitting out color. Okay. Yes. I know um, very very little about this, but I mean, I mean, all of Brandon Sanderson I've read, I've enjoyed. Pretty sure your mom liked it. She read that. My mom likes everything. That's not true. She's DNF stuff. So. My mom very rarely DNFs stuff. So we, Debbie will tell you if, if she thinks you like it or not. We'll see. All right, next we have the Night Jar. By <laughs> this has been on a TBR fine. Well, now it's in the challenge. Uh, it's magical realism. This was in a video that we did, like a five on Friday video. I think so. Yeah. Before we actually challenged each other to do stuff. Yeah. But the book has deckled edges, Tara. It does have deckled edges, <laughs> which some people don't like, but I do like. Like, I like the look the of them. The I got, it doesn't have deckled um, edges. And it's hardcover. Is it? I think so. It, it might be. be. Like, I, some people really I hate, some people really hate deckled. Is that the rookery? The, the rookery, rookery, yeah. Um, and I don't hate them. I don't like, like, I love the look of them. Like, reading them, I don't really, it's a book, but I like how they look. They but, look old. Yeah, so magical realism. So, you know, it's nothing too crazy fantasy wise. But, good story. Nice, nice. Next. Oh! An Ember okay. of the Ashes by Sava Tahir. Uh, I don't personally understand too much why it's considered YA. I okay. think it has some pretty. Uh, Maybe I'm just, uh, underestimate what kids, well, not kids, but, like, young adults should be able to handle. Um, but it's very, uh, very based on, or it has a very Roman feel. Okay. And, uh, yeah, it's an interesting, interesting story. I read the entirety of that series last year. And it was good. Are these the ones my mom got you? Not these, but the last books in the last yes, two. Yes, yes. Did you even read the graphic novel that she sent? I have not yet. I do have to read that still. So, okay. we have that. And then, last but not least, this is why you thought I had seven, because I 
have, have this here. The oh, board. okay. But then I also have this here because the reason, one of the reasons, so again, this one is not considered YA, but it is, it has some very brutal elements in it. But the thing about the brutal elements in this book, which I think I've explained on this channel before, is that they're entirely, or in, in most cases, all the most brutal elements in that are based on history, on actual things that happen in history. So it's actual real human barbarism <laughs> for the most part. Um, and you've read a lot of like uh, historical fictions that mm -hmm. take place during World War II and stuff. So a lot of what this is based on is the Sino, uh, the Sino, what are they called? Sino-Japanese Sino War aspect okay. of World War II, I'm pretty sure. And then also things of like the, the Boxer Rebellion and uh, like the Poppy Wars and things like that. So there's like a, this note from the author that I, you can read it beforehand or you can read it afterward, but there's obviously this beautiful hardcover copy. I love these, like and then these. This one is this is the what the student. Uh, yeah. It's like the student thing. It has it actually has uh, reading group discussion questions at the end. That's not that uncommon. Yeah. I have lots of books with those, but oh, you know. I've never seen them before. So anyway. Yeah. Uh, but I do love so these has, hardcover. It has editions. that historical aspect. Obviously, there's a lot of stuff in here that is not historical, but then there are certain things that are entirely paralleled, and it's interesting to uh, interesting to see. Can you guys hear our child crying in the background because he's refusing to take a nap? Maybe. But we're almost done here. Yeah. Because you just have uh, one super secret bonus. Yes. Super secret bonus. If you read it, you win the challenge What's book. That? Boy of Kings. <laughs> <laughs> Boy of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. It's only like a thousand something pages. It's, it's only. 1200 no it doesn't matter really yeah totally it's a super secret bonus you win it you win, you win we, the whole we challenge. do own the audio book book. it's only 46 hours or something. <laughs> there will be a time when i read this yeah sometime this year <laughs> Probably not, but we'll uh, we'll add it here tentatively. I will. Hey, you know what? I will read one of these Brandon Sanderson books this year. <laughs> yeah, you should do both. Well, all right. Well, we should probably go take care of our that's child. The challenge. But here is our challenge plus one more book for John. Yes. Uh, just look at the size. Okay, I'll even um take uh, that out of well, it. Well, I need another book. It's true. That's a thick one. So that one. Yeah. He's not actually reading Little Women, guys. But <laughs> yeah, <that's fun. laughs> <laughs> um, I should have challenged you to read that. But yeah, so this is what we'll be reading for each other this year. We'll see how it goes. Stay tuned next January, or whenever we both finish these books. <laughs> to, uh, Indeed. Yeah. To see, see what happens next. Yeah. Alright, well we should really go. We have to take a thumbnail and then go. Until next time, happy reading. Bye! Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy reading. Bye! <laughs>